Hello. If you're watching this video before February of 2022, you're probably in the same production of Our Town that I am. Uh, but I will leave this video up on YouTube in the general internet for anybody that's doing a similar production afterwards and would like to know my opinions on how the hymns that are interspersed throughout the play should go. Um, always subject, of course, to your director's approval. Um, so I'm going to look at some of the conducting patterns that are needed for Mr. Stimson and uh, as well the melodies that are needed for any singers that are in the in the production. So we're going to start. Uh, I am using the Samuel French Acting Edition. It's orange. Um, we're going to start with uh, Blessed Be the Tie. Uh, Blessed Be the Tie is in uh, D flat major. <laughs> Um, and we start on the middle of the middle of the chord. Our conductor is going to be conducting in a three pattern. So he's going to use his right hand and um, to start the bar, he's going to go down. And then the second move of the conducting pattern is always away from your body. And then finish the bar by going up. There's your three count. So one, two, three. Because uh, this blessed be the tie starts with the third beat of the bar. You're going to give the one, two, and your singers aren't going to sing. They're going to sing on the three. So I'm going to sing it through and conduct it at the same time. So here's my starting note. Blessed be the tie that binds our hearts in Christian love. The fellowship of kindred minds is like to that above. Be for our Father's throne, we pour our ardent prayers, our fears, our hopes, our aims are one, our comfort and our cares. We share our mutual woes, our mutual burdens bear, and often for each other flows the sympathizing conductor is going to make that little to indicate that the singers are stopping what they're singing. Speed. Again, subject to the action that's going on on the stage around you, you may need to take it that tempo, which means you may need to breathe more often. Um, churches in modern days, I find, tend to take these hymns a little quicker so we can be out by 11.30. Um, but uh, this is a different time period we're dealing with, and as I said, we have to gauge it to the action that's on this stage. If you find you're running out of breath as a singer, find a comma and breathe there. So the commas in the text, those are really good uh, stopping points to breathe. Grab it as quick as you can, get back in and keep singing. Try not to make it a big breath that, that uh, pops through the fabric of the, of the music. Try to sneak it. Um, so that might be something you need to work on um, just by yourself as you practice is how can I get the maximum amount of oxygen into me with the least amount of noise possible. Challenge for you. Art Thou Weary, Art Thou Languid. This one is in F major. Okay, and again, it starts on the middle of the chord. Our conductor for a 4-4 four, four pattern, which this one is, uh, again, we start with the downbeat for the first of the bar. This hymn starts on the downbeat. There's no uh, supplementary beats before our first uh, bar. So all you need to do is just give us a nice solid downbeat and we'll be ready to start. Once you have your downbeat, your second beat, again, away from your body out here. Third beat, other side. 
fourth beat up. Um, so you're making kind of a T shape down, out, in, up, down, out, in, up. And with these conducting patterns, you can get as fluid and as drunk as you like, um, as that's what the character calls for. But just make sure you have a good solid downbeat on the on the first of every bar. Um, your singers are going to know this so well that they're going to be able to go through without even really looking at you, uh, just kind of using their ears. But um, got to make it look good, right? So here we are. Um, art thou weary? Art thou languid? All right, conducting and singing, here we go. One, two, three. Art thou weary, art thou languid, art thou sore distressed? Come to me, saith one, and coming be. lesser known tune but uh, still really pretty again if you're running out of breath breathe where there's a comma if you have no breath and there's no comma just kind of sneak one or fake that you breathe fake that you're still singing there's a lot of ways to get around that and it all just comes with repetition final one in the book love divine again in 4-4 so we're using that same conducting pattern of down out in up down out in up. Speed again is going to be variable depending on the action going around. This one is in A flat major and it starts down here on the um, on the so on the fifth note of the chord. One, two, ready, go. Love divine, all love excelling, joy of heaven to earth come down. Fix in us thy humble dwelling, all thy faithful mercies crown. Jesus, thou art all compassion, pure So the difference with this one is that the verse doesn't repeat. Um, it's it's one song all the way through. It's not two verses, same tune, different words. You have to be a little bit more on the ball to know that once you get to that natural stopping point in the center, you're not just cycling back to the beginning of the tune. You have to go forward and do a new interest, a new uh, a new piece of the puzzle. In terms of warm ups, as a church choir, so if you're in the church choir section you would have done some warm-ups. There's nothing really too technical in these pieces, so uh, maybe before your show, if you want to uh, run it through a couple times, maybe do some nice long notes to uh, practice uh, how long you can hold that breath and try and get that note longer and longer and longer, keeping it at the same pitch and at the same volume and at the same, um, the same strength all the way through. Um, people that are singing in the funeral, uh, you would not really have had an opportunity to warm up unless you did it in the carriage coming to the funeral. A funeral uh, graveside hymn is more of an impromptu thing to kind of comfort those that are uh, that find their comfort in church music. In the funeral scene, I 
I believe the appropriate thing is just for somebody to start and everybody to join in as soon as they know what the hymn is. And uh, because everybody would have known the tune from church all their lives, everybody would have known the words. And they, even if they went to two different churches, it was probably nearly the same tune, nearly the same words. They just match it together and it's, it's beautiful. Those are my thoughts on the hymns in our town. Um, anybody out there in the internet that is uh, wanting to make use of those, feel free. Thank you.